couldn't be more charming. They give you a little granite bench to sit on. The bridge construction is sturdy old cast iron. Looks like it's been here forever. The river's pretty busy. All in all, it's a fabulous way to start threading yourself through this system. And lo, the falls behind a little impoundment. There's the impoundment creating a pond-like wetland area. And over here, it tumbles over the falls. With a nice little roaring rapid. The water's running pretty clear. at all in the shady quiet the works of an old spillway a path along the river and I think this is where we're going yeah. yes it's the Mary Honeywell five foot bridge referenced in trail descriptions thoughtfully provided at the website. It's an ancient English name. You can almost imagine the 1700s spelling. From here, we're just more or less following the river and looking to see if there's any kind of trail blazing. And there we have a blaze. The lower green one indicates the Charles River link system. The upper red one indicates the Wellesley Charles River trail system. You see this thing right at the end of the parking lot. As you head due south and west from the five foot bridge, which is just back over here. And now we cross yet another busy, obnoxious Massachusetts street and see what we find. Benjamin Mills Park, it looks like. There's the river. Various aquatic bird-like things that seem to be mallards. Oh, no, it's the ubiquitous Canada goose splashing around. Oh, yay. And here we are at the trail. The Canada's are taking over. Look at him go. There's one out on a rock or something. It's his own throne. Preening, I see. Something we share with birds. The water level seems kind of low. A bunch of stuff that would ordinarily be exposed. Uh, now visible it would ordinarily be underwater I mean it's interesting how the highway side is still pretty wild and it's not very appealing to the Canadas which we now view as a problem but if we didn't really want them around we probably wouldn't want to invent and create such inviting little lawns. Basically, 
the equivalent of putting out a sign for Canada geese saying, come here. And on we go. And now as we enter a more wooded area, it's not so appealing for the Canadas. Who oh, no. This whole section appears to be some kind of easement negotiation in addition to whatever elements of the former MDC it included. The infrastructure looks a bit tired. I'm sure it's a relatively low priority. There's the blaze. The trail veers over towards a little obscure around here, which is just fine by me.